You know what's really not fun? Recording an entire video for 30 minutes and then realizing you forgot to plug in your microphone. So let's do it, take two. In this new snapshot, Minecraft has updated minecarts to not be complete garbage. So previous to this snapshot, this was the speed, no, this was not the speed of minecarts, damn it. This was the previous speed of minecarts before this experimental patch. And as we all know, they're kind of slow. But luckily, Mojang has added a new game rule. If I was to type in game rule, minecart, max speed, and let's put a reasonable value in, like, I don't know, 1000. You can see this time, they accelerate to much faster speeds. And because we can make minecarts go so fast now, what we can do is we can place a villager, and then just, uh, spin him up to speed. Okay. <laughs> We then flick this lever. I ain't seen clips online, but seeing it in game is crazy. <laughs> he's, he's in space! Where did he go? Dude, okay, I gotta find him. Where did he go? I can't find him. I think he legitimately went to space. I, I, think, I think he's dead. I'm just gonna assume he's dead. He's in orbit somewhere. But obviously, we can now do the same to ourselves. So we'll do the same thing. Maybe, maybe we'll find him up there. We'll get this minecart up to speed, uh, whatever we deem acceptable. Flick this lever and then we'll just, uh, we'll hop in it. And... Oh. I mean, is that... Why do we only go that far? The physics in the minecarts kind of suck when it actually comes to aeronauticals. They slow down their horizontal momentum so, like, so much. Watch how much it slows down on the horizontal. It, it just completely loses all momentum, and then it just drops out the sky. It kind of sucks. So they've also done something else with the minecarts, which you may have noticed when we were doing like the launching. But you can see they sort of launch and tilt midair. Now I have my own speculation on why, why they've added this, but I noticed something. What if we just put a bunch of these little launchers in a row and offset them slightly? So I have about, I don't know, like 200 minecarts here. And when I flick this lever, you can see that we have this awesome rainbow pattern which just goes all the way down i mean honestly it's super mesmerizing look at it. it's oh that is dude that is sick in fact i wonder what happens if i just get in a minecart Woo! in fact can i jump from oh oh that's sick i can sort of like jump minecart to minecart okay so i'm gonna slow down minecart slightly i'm gonna give him like a max speed of like 30. what i've done here is the plan is to line up three minecarts here and then as I get in them, I'll start in the middle one, I have to sort of move left and right and dodge these magma blocks. So we'll see how effectively I can... Oh, okay, okay, 30, okay, oh no, that's a bit fast, that's a bit fast. All right, place them back down, and go. Okay, so yeah, dodge, dodge, oh, oh, yeah, at the end, dodge that one, that one, dodge, yes. So yeah, you can totally make a game out of this, and then I've like eliminated one from the track, so you only have two, and then, oh, it's back. So you're back up to three. And uh, I just thought this was a neat idea. But this update wasn't just about minecarts. You see, it's done a lot of updates in particular to redstone dust, which has been very, very controversial with redstoners. And as we all know, I am a super duper redstone expert. At least I like to think of myself. Uh, other redstoners will say, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but what do they know? Redstone? <laughs> Unlikely. When you have two conflicting pistons or things which are conflicting, uh, it will now prioritize the one which is closest to the source. So if I put the lever on the left side here, the left piston will always activate. However, if I put it on the right, the right piston will always activate. Uh, but the thing which is really controversial is if the lever is in the middle. You see now, because it's halfway between the two, it is random. And redstoners, they do not like randomness. They were going, oh, I would prefer it if it just worked some of the time. No, 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 they're wrong. Because you want to know, you want to know my hot take about this? When is this ever going to come up in a redstone design? I'm serious. Because when are you going to use this where you can't just extend one of the things? If you need the left one, make it so the left one will activate. Or if you can't extend it, how hard is it to just stick in a repeater? This would only affect the nichest, the nichest and stupidest like redstone contraptions. These people complaining, they're just being a bit arsey if you ask me. But there has been some other redstone changes which I am not happy with with whatsoever. And this pertains to redstone updates. 
So first I have to explain quasi-connectivity. If you don't know what quasi-connectivity is, oh boy! Basically, pistons are doors. If I was to extend this lever here, this piston is powered, but it doesn't know it yet. As soon as I was to update this piston by like uh, placing a block next to it, it suddenly goes, oh, I'm powered! And then it extends. But part of the thing is, the piston doesn't necessarily know it, it needs to be updated. This can also be updated by playing a note block. Previously, pistons could be updated with quasi-connectivity if they were updated by redstone dust activating. But redstone dust was unique, because redstone dust uh, needs to update other dust, going, hey, this is powered, hey, you're powered, hey, you're powered, hey, you're powered. They had the unique functionality of giving block updates two blocks away. This no longer will give the block update. This is really, really bad. I know it may not sit, look, look, this is the technical side of the video. Just bear with me because this is important. So over here, I'm gonna place some yellow concrete. And then what we'll do is we'll just place some redstone on top. The yellow concrete represents areas that redstone dust used to update. So when I'd flick on this lever, it would update all this yellow line. It would update two blocks around it on the side, as well as it would update on top as well. And this had part of the problem that it would actually be very laggy for larger redstone machines. So in aid of performance, what Mojang has done is eliminated it. So redstone no longer updates this. It no longer updates this. It no longer updates any of this. It only updates this one block on the side. It doesn't even update the blocks it's on. And this has issues because it doesn't even update this block on the end if it is a transparent block, such as air, or even glass. Now this, this is kind of like a niche thing if you're not really into redstone, but it actually has a huge knock-on effect. Another example would be something like this. Again, the piston usually would extend. Not anymore. Here was a piston analog clock I made. So when this would pulse, the, uh, the black thing would go round like a big analog clock. This will get stuck and no longer works. I don't know why, I'd have to investigate and fix it, but hopefully I don't need to because these redstone changes hopefully shouldn't remain. See here, completely broken, useless. Thanks Mojang. Much more recently was my video on Smart Gallery. This is a mini game I made where this reveals a randomly generated pattern out of concrete powder and the players have to sort of like recreate it and submit their designs. This now is broken because of these changes. Why? Because the zero ticking on the powder sorters does not work anymore. Oh, would you look at this? The game thinks light blue is pink. Thanks, Mojang. Even going all the way back to my Guitar Hero minigame, which I was really proud of, this no longer works because it was dependent on the redstone updating pistons two blocks apart. But it's not just my machines which are broken. In the blog update, they even know they broke this one, and that is piston bolts. Piston bolts used to be these machines which would transport minecarts incredibly fast. How they would work is by pushing minecarts along these curved bits of rail like really, really fast. You can see they don't really go on the corner pieces quite right. If I turn on the hitboxes, they don't overflow anymore. So when I hit these pistons, they ain't pushing nothing. They ain't pushing nothing. Piston bolts are dead. But why are they updating minecarts now and adding all this functionality such as them tilting midair? because I don't think they're done with minecarts. I think they're gonna be adding a lot more stuff. Maybe we add tracks which allow, like put tracks on vertical walls or even vertical to allow us to make loop-de-loops. Or at least I hope so, because that'd be really cool. Please do something cool, Mojang. Please, 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 loop-de-loops. I've always wanted to roller coaster with loop-de-loops. What I have here is just a standard piece of track with a slope and a piece of powdered snow above it. And I'm also gonna bring up the F3 screen for no particular reason. You can see we're at minus 60 in height. Let's get in and boom, we are now 800 blocks in the air. Why? I mean, we are literally above the clouds. You'll see them coming to render distance. I don't know why this is a thing. I really don't know how this is like, what? I don't know why powdered snow sends you to heaven. Maybe because they're both fluffy. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. We can say what we want about this minecart update. They did actually make minecarts faster. So I know at least one person who's very happy right now. So if you don't want to see these horror changes in the game, in the description is the Mojang feedback form. Whatever you do, don't fill it out with horrendous insults and death threats. Don't do that. I don't do that. I'm serious. Don't do that. You know Mojang featured one of my videos in a Minecraft monthly? Yeah, I don't think that's happening again. 